No, you've been a Hi, this is Chucky Dad. I'm uh, about to make your day. If you have a uh, unique uh, Q500, perhaps other machines too, uh, and it is wandering sideways or drifting sideways, drifting in any direction. Um, I've seen and I've bought. I bought the drone second hand, and uh, it's got a very bad drift to the left. Uh, as you can see just here um, it's uh, quite uh, dangerous and tricky and if you're not right on the ball when it's moved like that and you're trying to film something you're going to very easily crash your drone and it makes it very hard to land of course so you've got to basically got a hand catch uh, I went on to the various forums and saw all sort of sorts of advice um, I really wish people that don't know what they're talking about wouldn't feel so compelled to say something because there's an awful lot of bad advice. Uh, the forums seem to be full of people saying that your props are old or you're damaged or your motors are damaged or they're getting old. It just never rung true with me that that could be the case. Uh, it's not as if the motors are all absolutely perfectly the same in the first place and they don't wear the same uh, and it makes no difference. The machine's trying to hold to a position uh, and if one motor's a bit weak or a bit older it's just going to basically spin that motor a little bit harder or whatever but each motor's got its own, own separate controller and that is never ever going to be the problem. Sure a motor might die or a prop might break or something and you'll know about it um, but that's not going to cause the drift the drift is to do with configuration um, and there's a number of things that you should do and there's a number of uh, various videos on, on YouTube that explain the process uh, particularly first up of the uh, compass calibration and the accelero accelerometer calibration um, you can certainly find your own uh, videos on YouTube and I'll put a link at the bottom of this one for uh, quite a good video of uh, calibrating the compass and the accelerometer and I recommend you do that uh, and I recommend when you do when you do that that you use a nice open area uh, and have the aircraft as flat on the ground as possible uh, not moving at all and and very flat when you configure the accelerometer and uh, or when you configure the compass you need to uh, basically you, you, you turn the craft end over end and then moving it uh, one, so one, one set of props around a quarter of the way around and turning it over again moving it a quarter of the way again turning it over again do that four times and it beeps and makes all sorts of noises and carries on uh, and it's uh, and it's calibrated I did all that uh, which is a good thing to do but that didn't fix the problem uh, how you actually fix it is you need to go in uh, and I'll just okay now I'm not sure how well this is going to work here but a moment. Um, we go into system settings okay down to about flight, flight mode control and you tap on the Android version a number of times just go back to that screen there hit the controller test and away you go and you just follow first up the oh, hit the controller test and away you go uh, controller test enter and uh, next okay and from here you, uh, you're basically calibrating each of the buttons so up down ah, sorry we need to start don't we here we go up down that's J1 sideways it's J2 up down J3 now J4 doesn't want to uh, configure okay it's not the end of the world go through uh, this, these two buttons here the speed control and the camera gimbal they're done then we'll go next and we'll just go basically all around here that's passed now and you'll see also that that's passed even though that didn't configure in the first place then you just need to check the rest uh, hit all the buttons basically 
uh, that one, I don't want to stop the drone, and that one, and that one. Uh, finish, get out of there. And if you had a drone that was drifting, and you have done that, you have correctly configured your accelerometer and your compass, your drone is not going to drift anymore.